I've just unpacked a load of uh, slug traps that I've been making to replenish stocks as I am putting them out uh, to try and catch as many slugs as I can this year basically you cut the top off of a uh, pot bottle cut the pot bottle halfway and then put the lid inside and I've stapled them but uh, I do prefer to use a soldering iron and just weld kind of spot weld the um, the two together and what I've been doing recently is putting a, a hole through the bottom so that I can put a tent peg through and hold it in place and then when they go in the ground if they've got beer in they go slightly that way and the beer goes in the bottom and if they've got um, pellets in then I usually put them that way so that any water that does get in sort of drains out through and it keeps the, sl the slug pellets dry um, they do work uh, it's just that usually they get so f covered in rain and moisture inside that you don't really see too many slugs but you you can at least see that what you're doing is working and it keeps the slug pellets dry and it stops the frogs and other animals getting at the slug pellets so um and it's recycling and reusing the pot bottle. So, a few more to make. Um, but the amount of bottles of water and bottles of pop that the family goes through, it doesn't take long to build up stocks of them. And I should end up having enough of this site and the other site as well. Well, the Japanese onions are in, and I've put slug traps down. And in the process of putting it in, I've killed an awful lot of slugs. Uh, I don't fancy their chance, hello. I don't fancy their chances very much. There's a little bugger. On his way to decimate something. I should kill him. Uh, there's loads of them coming out from all over the place. Anyway, there's one going for a feed there. Uh, at least they seem to be working. I think what I need to do is go probably over this with a fine tooth comb and um, mull of the ones that are on the travel and hopefully the slug traps will deal with the others that uh, are still in there. But as to uh, how many onions I, I get out of this remains to be seen really. Well the hoops and the bracing is in place now. Uh, I've dispatched another couple of slugs to sluggy heaven. Um, so I shall find the netting, give this lot of water, and then um, cover it, cover it up. Okay, it's a quarter past eleven. Morning's just flying past, and I'm about to have a cup of coffee because I found a net and I've uh, secured it to the hoop frame. I've watered in the um, Japanese onions and I found as many little blighters as I can and dispatched them to sluggy heaven. So let's just hope they last. Uh, there's 48 Japanese onions, overwintering onions in there. So, if I get 30 out of that, I'll be happy.